gonna get some stretching and then a nice warm up and then uh, sparring. So a lot of sparring. Everyone here. Yep. Yeah. And hands and hips and neck exercises. Ready? And hana dual set net. Dasi yosu look up. You dual. Hana dual set net. Dasi yosu look up. Yo dual. And arm swing support your back. Hana dual set net. Dasi yosu look up. Yo dual. Hana dual set net. Dasi yosu look up. And yo dual. Waist bend to the side first. Hana dual set net. Da sit yo sit yo go yo dual and other side and a dual set net da sit yo sit yo go and yo dual forward and backward bend ready and a dual set net da sit yo sit yo go yo dual and a dual set net da sit yo sit yo go and yo dual. Toe touches to the side first, other arm swinging back. Hana, dual, set, net. Da sit yo sit, yo go. Yo dual, hana, dual, set, net. Da sit yo sit, yo go. And yo dual. Feet together. Four knee bends. Ready and hana, dual, set, net. Da sit yo sit, yo go. Yo dual, hana, dual, set, net. Da sit yo sit, yo go, and yo dual. Legs should be short to this side first, and hana. Dual, set, net. Da sit, yo sit, yo go, yo dual, a hop, and you will other side, and hana. Dual, set, net. Da sit, yo sit, yo go, yo dual, a hop. And you will same thing but longer. Hana. Dual. Set. Net. Da set. Yo set. Yo go. Yo dual. Up. And you will switch. Same thing over side. Keep that heel on the ground. Hana. Dual. Set. Net. Da set. Yo set. Yo go. Yo dual. Up. And you will down to the ground. One leg out. Two down, two over, two down, two back. And hana, dual. Set, net. Da, sit, yo, set. Look up, yo, dual. Hana, dual. Set, net. Da, sit, yo, set. Look up. And yo, dual. Down for a ten count. Hana, dual. Set, net. Da, sit, yo, set. Look up, yo, dual. A hop. And you will up your leg over for ankle rotations. And hana dual set net. Dasi yo sit up, you dual. Hana dual set net. Dasi yo sit up, you dual. Foot flat, arm cross, and twist. Hana dual set net. Dasi yo sit, you'll go. Yo dual, a hop. And you will. Let's switch our legs. Other one out. Two down, two over, two down, two back. And hana, dual. Set, net. Da, sit, yo, set. Yo, go, yo, dual. Hana, dual. Set, net. Da, sit, yo, set. Yo, go. And yo, dual, down for a ten count. Hana, dual. Set, net. Da, sit, yo, set. Yo, go, yo, dual, a hop. And you will other leg over for ankle rotations and hana dual set net. Das yo sit up, you dual, hana dual set net. Das yo sit up, you dual. Foot flat, arm across, and twist. Hana dual set net. Das it, yo sit, you'll go. Yo dual, a hop. And you will legs apart, down to one side, and hana. Dual set net da sit yo sit yo go yo dual a hop and you other way through middle stay down hana dual set net da sit yo sit yo go yo dual a hop and you and down to the middle last one hana dual set net da sit yo sit yo go yo dual a hop. 
and you real last one. Sorry, bottoms your feet together and knees down. Hana, dual set, net, toss it, yo set, little go, you dual, a hop, and you will great job. Everyone, please step it up. All right, so for our warm up, I did this with the boat on belts last week, and by the end, my arms were shaking on the last set. So Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this five times. We're gonna do 20 shoulder taps into a 10 second plank on our forearms five times. So that's 100 shoulder taps and 50 seconds of planks by the end, okay? If you need to modify it, go ahead. Let's go down to the ground. And go by your own pace, go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, ten, fifteen, forty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back up. Okay, ready? And 
Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Awesome. So for sparring week, one of the things that I've been explaining throughout the week is one, um, throughout the day, since it's only Monday, one, roundhouse kick is probably one of the most used kicks in sparring. There's so many variations of it, and it's really, really popular. Besides cup kick, which has become very big these days, roundhouse kick is a technique that scores, and there are many variations of it, like I said, that uh, make it so easy to use. That, but the um, downside to that is it's pretty predictable, and there are many ways that we can learn to defend ourselves. So one of the things that um, is really important is timing and distance when we do sparring, right? Being able to time your moves to be as fast as you can and to have the right distance to um, get that kick out there so you can score points if we're talking about in the sense of sparring actually in competition. Um, but realistically, we're not always going to be the fastest. I was never really the fastest one when I sparred. Um, usually when I sparred other girls, though, I was one of the stronger ones, which helped quite a bit. Um, but we have to know how to play to our strengths and weaknesses and have lots of different options, just like we do with our Hapkido. In our Hapkido, it's using our opponent's energy against them. We want to almost think the same way in sparring, using what they are doing and catching them in that. Um, we want to be able to be good at, um, obviously, you know, attacking and uh, being able to strike, but we also want to be really good at defending and um, countering. So one of the things that I do as a uh, sparring competitor when I would spar is I would be more of a counter attacker. I would wait for them to attack me and then do my response um, because knowing I wouldn't be able to be the fastest one to catch them first. So I waited for them to attack so I could throw them off balance. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go over what's called a cover punch, um, which is one of my favorite techniques. Okay. So, cover punch is the idea of, let's say I'm sparring and someone kicks at me, okay? I'm not going to be the fastest one to move out of the way, but I'm not afraid to go into their technique, especially since I'm shorter and I need to close the distance most of the time. I prefer to move forward in this sense. So, let's say someone's kicking and they're kicking to this side, okay? I would take this hand, I would block their technique, and while I'm blocking, I would throw my back hand into a punch. Okay? If their foot's in the air, I guarantee you they're going to knock them off balance or you're going to make them fall down, which goes in um, your favor every single time. Okay? You're keeping them from scoring and you're striking. If you hit hard enough with that punch, you could score a point with that punch. If you knock them down in a sparring competition, them falling gives you a point. They, um, they get what's called a kamjong, which is um, a penalty, and that they would give you a point for that. Okay? In the case that that doesn't happen, you're still, because they're put in the air or they're still trying to land or whatever stage they're in, they are going to lose their balance enough that you can always, just like we do in our team combination, follow up with another kick, usually a roundhouse kick. But the idea of cover punch is really catching their blow and using it against them, especially if they're put in the air. So what I want us to do first, before we move into putting it all together, because it's like doing um, rubbing your tummy and patting your head. Sometimes it's very hard to use both hands for two different things. So what I want us to do is whichever leg is in front, oh, one more thing. There are many different types of ways of cover punching. You can angle, you can um, cover the backside. Right now we're gonna do the simplest one where we're covering forward and we're driving our back hand because we get more power from our back hand than our front hand. So right now we're gonna take our front hand, we're gonna stand in our spine stand, it's nice and easy, and we're gonna drop it into a low block and I want you to lean into it as you're going. Drive your body forward. We have to remember that our arms are not as strong as our legs, so we have to put our whole body behind every motion that we do. So what I want us to do is I want you to do this motion 10 times on one side, then switch your feet and do it on the other side. By your own count, 10 times each side, and begin. Mm 
Nice job, Mr. D. Sitting in hard. Mr. Gardner sitting in hard. Oh man. Sabres are going strong. Nice job. Awesome. So now that we have that, without using the front hand, take your back hand and as you're going, drive your back hand, you wanna do a body level punch, okay? So here, body level punch. Drive it forward as much as you can. Our uh, back hand and our back leg, they're always gonna be stronger than our front hand and our front leg. So our front hand is better to use for that block because it's gonna be faster, it's gonna intercept that kick, okay? Our back hand, is where the power is going to come in to knock our opponent over or to throw them off balance or score points with this power punch. So here, leaning in, punch 10 times one side, 10 on the other side. And begin. Nice, Mr. D. Super strong. Make sure it's body level, though, sir. There you go. Snirx is going strong. Don't want to get punched by her. Oh man. Let's see. Who's got stronger punches? Sumer, Preeti, oh man. Oh, they're both doing awesome. Nice job. Make sure that's body level. Very good. Awesome. Now comes the hard part, being able to put them together. So while you're blocking, striking at the same time. Ha! Okay? So, one hand body level, back hand, other hand is blocking low, catching that kick. Yes? Try and do 10 on each side. Take your time with it. Try and make it just hit hard and trip. Miss Ackert, great job. Make sure that's going right in front of your front leg so you're really blocking your body. Good. You got it. Great job, Miss Saper. Just switch those hands. There you go. Very good. Nice, Mr. D. Oh, man. Awesome. So now what we want to do is, just like our kicking combination, we should follow through with everything that we do, okay? So we don't make them fall down. We maybe score points with our punch, but we don't stop there. When we do this, we're driving and we're getting closer to our opponents. Um, and if they do fall back, they might have enough space to kick. They might not. If they're close to us, they might do something close quarters. So we want to follow through and keep them from following up with anything, okay? So when you're here, right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a cover punch, then throw a back leg rounds kick, okay? And you wanna do it fast, immediate. One, two, okay? And that's the idea. This, um, when I started, this has helped me, to be honest, kind of turn the tide in most of the matches that I've done because uh, it gives me so many opportunities to score a point or to go through. Okay, so I want us to really, really follow through with this. So here, cover punch, roundhouse kick. Okay, let's do five times each side. And begin. Miss Packer, awesome job, hitting strong, very good. Good job, Miss Dirks. Awesome. Hitting it strong. Awesome. So this is definitely something to play with. Um, when I was sparring and training in um, the Taekwondo club at my college, 
one of the things that the masters had me do there was uh, actually and build upon it. Take something that I have, make it really strong, and then build upon it so I can use it in multiple different situations and follow through with it quite a bit. That's also why we do our kicking combinations. That's why we have them. It's the foundation for you to play with your kicks to put them in um, different orders and scenarios so you can use them. So everything that you learn, try putting it together, try mixing it up. I challenged one of my classes earlier today to make their own kicking combination. What makes sense in their mind with what they're doing? So one of the kids did like a brownout kick and their opponent moved back in their head, so they fast kicked. That still didn't work, but they really had a strong roundhouse kick that they wanted to use, so they did a turnaround roundhouse kick and they followed through. And they built in their head a scenario for them to use their kicks. Um, so take all these techniques and, and make your own combinations, make your own form with them. There's actually, I believe, I think it's World Taekwondo, one of the giant Taekwondo organizations made sparring forms for different combinations and ways for you to practice in different um, directions as well, which is super, super cool. But definitely try that, put it together, practice it, take the angles that we've done in the past, take the cover punch, take the kicks that you're learning and practice them and put them together. Um, especially if you can't spar right now, if you don't have a partner, or if you do it at home and it's probably not the best idea to practice on them, this is definitely something to do. That being said, we're gonna move into our kicking combinations. I have to leave slightly early um, because we have a wonderful seminar that Master Black has to go on tonight. But the instructor Sullivan is going to finish up with you after kicking combinations. But right now, I want to see everyone's kicks. So we're gonna go through really, really quickly. Let's see, what, what color belts do we have, man? We have lots of color belts. I gotta see all of them. Who do we have? We have orange belts. We have green belts, we have purple belts, we have red belts, and we have a bodon belt. I don't have to worry about Mr. D. If he doesn't know what he's doing, then I'm gonna have to find him and like bop him over the head or something. Maybe we'll spar him, beat him up a bit. Um, so let's go through all these really, really quickly. Okay, if you are in orange belts, you should already know yours. Yes, Mr. Gardner? He's all set, right? We'll all round us kick. Five round of skate. And he's got a league master that he can practice on too, so he's like all set. <laughs> Green belts, right? We have round house kick, turn around round house kick. Yes? Making sure that we stay in a straight line. Purple belts, you have here, front knee comes up, cut kick, so you hop and kick at the same time. Turn back kick. Yes. And red belts have round house kick, spinning hook kick. Okay? And Mr. D has stepped up for a mask, he stepped pretty hook it. And I expect to see it. Okay. So let's do this. Let's do five times each side our kicking combination. Okay? So you start yourself. Let's highlight some people. Let's put them on the spotlight and torture them a bit. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Does everyone know their kicking combination? Everyone all set? Awesome. Sparring stance. And begin. Oh, look at Mr. Oh, look at that pivot on that other foot. Nice job, Mr. Gardner. Oh, he's turning it all the way. Awesome job. Mrs. Dirks is so scary, strong, and fierce. I was thinking we should have her face a sparring team. I think she would scare them. Oh, man. <laughs> have her face T.I. Edwards. <laughs> That's awesome, ma'am. Great job. And really good foot positioning, too. Good, awesome spinning hook kick, sir. Go faster, Mr. D. You're too slow. Mr. D, that is so impressive. Try to control your arms a little bit more, especially on the steps. You've got it on the kicks they're in, but the steps, they're kind of out there, right? Awesome kick, sir. Nice job, let's see. Turn that hip over more when you do your turnaround, Mr. Safer. Keep those hands up. Samir, keep those hands up. Nice job. Awesome kicks, Safers.
Awesome. When you do five on each leg, you are done. Take a break before a senior checks yourself and tortures you more. <laughs> okay. So you check yourself and you're the host, so you have to change the spotlight. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oops. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Um, so one more thing before I have to leave. Um, when we're going through, we have to think about where we're hitting, okay? Because one of the things that um, is really important is how we're hitting and where we're hitting, so that way we don't get hurt. So really quickly, because most of us are doing some form of roundhouse kick for the most part. When we do a roundhouse kick, our foot needs to go across. We can't bring it up, we can't bring it at an angle here. That's not gonna help. If we're, someone's wearing a chest protector, they're here, okay? So we need to bring our foot all the way through. It should be pinky side going through. So here, I wanna get this side of my foot across, straight across when I'm going, okay? So the thing that's gonna help with that is where your knee point, that's where your kick's gonna go. If your knee points up, your foot's gonna go that way. If your knee points across, your foot's gonna go across. So when you're going, point your knee and shift your other foot, pivot it out, yes? So when I'm here, when my knee slips across, my other foot turns so it's more comfortable and I can get my foot across the way I need it to go. So when you're doing your kicks, Let's really focus on that. I would say let's do five more each leg, focusing on getting our foot all the way across if you have a run up stick. And five more times each leg and go. And senior instructor Sullivan, you're the host. Yes, ma'am. Nice job, ma'am. Nice kicks, even stronger. Keep it up, you guys got it. Nice. Keep it up. There. That looks like most of you guys are done. You guys are fast. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. I wish I could say for the end of class. This is what happens sometimes though. But come back on Wednesday because we're going to do more of this. And we're going to kick more and do more cover punches. And if you have someone that you can practice on, this is great because you can practice on them too on Wednesday. Uh, but I hope you guys have a fun rest of class with Senior Instructor Sullivan and do lots more kicks. So, bye guys. Senior Instructor Sullivan, have fun. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so I know Master Glob was talking about being the counter defender person instead of the aggressor, but sometimes being the aggressor is really fun. So we're gonna practice my favorite thing to do, um, it's really, 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 really satisfying when you hit someone with this. It's like a fake runner's kick into a back kick. So we're just going to practice the two parts separately, and then we're going to put it together for our last few minutes of class. So um, when I say fake runner's kick, I'm not talking about our traditional, like, moving our hips right, sparring fake. What I mean is that we're bringing our knee up like we're going to do our kick, and then we just put it right back down so our opponent thinks that we're going to kick. And hopefully they hop back. So what we do is we're here bouncing up really aggressively and back down. Just bring our knee up like this. Someone's either thinking we're going to do a runner's kick or a cut kick, right? So either way, they're going to cover punch or move backward or something like that. So when I count, we're going to be bouncing. We're just going to bring our knee up aggressively, drop it down, ready to go in our sparring stance. When we land our foot, we're going to land it a little bit turned. Right, so we're ready to go right into our back kick. So we're just gonna do like five each side really quick. Just knee up aggressively, step in, one and down. All right, hands are up and down. And back, Duel. Nice. 
set. Like you're about to kick and then you don't do it, right? So you're still turning your hips and everything. Now, good, coming in strong aggressively. You want to scare someone. That's it. And switch your feet. Same thing on the other side. And ha! Good. Duel. Nice. So your knee should be in a position that you can do any kick you want from there, right? Set. Good. Now. Last one. That's it. Good. Feet. All right. Now, I know Mr. Gardner, you're in orange belt, but I'm very confident you can do a back kick. So we're just going to do five on each side of our back kicks. I know most of us have them in past or current uh, kicking combinations, but turn, look over your back leg, kick it up, land in front, step back the same way you came. Right heel points right to the target, lock it out, land, and step back. Ready? Hands up and cut off. Good. Duel. Set. Nice. Mr. Garner's sleeper is awesome. Net. And Mr. G super strong. That's it. Good. And with your feet. So just the back kick for now, not the whole thing. Turn, lock it out, land, step back. Ta-da! Nice, those are looking awesome. Duel! Good. Set! Mr. G, that's super strong. Net! Nice, Mr. Gardner. That's it! Good. And switch your feet. So Master Tim Burlow calls your heel on your back kick, your gun sight, and then he wasn't really allowed to anymore because it wasn't UMAC approved. But it makes sense because wherever your heel is pointing, that's where your other foot is going to end up going. So when we go, when I turn, if my heel is pointed straight towards the camera, my foot is going to go straight towards the camera, right? If my heel is pointed right here, I'm only going to be able to turn that much. Same thing, if I over-rotate my heel, my kick is going to go all the way over here. So we're just going to do three more. Make sure that your heel is pointed straight towards the camera or straight in whatever direction you're kicking. Drop it, plant your foot, move your weight back so it can't move, and shoot your kick out as strong as you can, right? So point, plant, and move your weight there. Kick it out super strong. When I had to kick through two bricks with a back kick, my heel was pointed right through it, and I went straight through, so just think about that, okay? Hands up, just three each leg, point that heel, weight, and through it, ready? Come on! Nice, that's it. Oh man, Mr. Dirks almost kicked me. Duel! Nice, one more. Set! Good. And switch feet. Same thing on the other side, just point that heel. Ha! Good. Straight out. Duel! Nice. And set! Awesome job. All right, so now we're gonna put it all together. So, we fake roundhouse kick. They either stay there and try to cover, or they hop back. So we're covering distance, right, because they had just hopped back. We're covering distance and blasting them right in the middle of their chest protector with our back kick. So I'm here, right, my opponent's here. I do my fake round kick. They move back, I've already covered my distance. Boom, I blast them, right? Knock the wind out of them, it's over, okay? Gotta get that point. So, we're gonna go five times each side. When I count, knock, one, two. When you land, make sure you're landing with that heel facing. So we're here, fake one, two, lock it out strong, okay? And hands are up. Ha! Boom. Good. Duel. Nice. Our back leg is the one coming up. Back leg, 
One, leave the right hand stick. Two. Set. Nice. Net. Mr. D, that's so strong. That's it. Nice job. And switch your feet. Miss Ackert, that was super duper strong. Make sure you're seeing it, right? I want to be able to see your eyes a little bit. And other way now. Ta-da! Nice. And duel! Great job, Mr. Gardener, sir. Set! Oh, Saper's awesome job. That's looking really good. Net! I know for our purple belts, this is really close to your kicking combination. So you guys already have it down. Net. Good. And last one, make it your strongest right chest protector level, hitting someone right here. That's it. Blast it. Nice job. And everybody borrow. Cheer yep. And yep. Our last one minute, we're gonna do my favorite Master G stretches, because Master G is crazy good at stretching. So we're gonna come down to the ground on one knee, one leg up, hips forward. You should feel it in your quad. And a uh, dual, set, net, da set, yo set, il gap, dual, a hop, and you will end back, setting down on our foot, and reach forward, and uh, dual, set, Net, da set, yo set, il da, yo dual, a hop, and you we're gonna shift, other knees up, and hips forward, stretching our quad, and off, dual, set, net, da set, yo set, il da, yo dual, a hop, and you and back, reaching to our toes, and off, dual, set, Net, da set, yo set, il go, yo dual, a hop, and you awesome job, everyone can step up. So once we get back in the dojong and we're sparring with other people, let me know if you ever blast anyone with that. It feels really good. Oh, we're all looking at Mr. Gardner. Oh man, my bad. Okay, <laughs> uh, once we're back, let me know if you get to blast anyone with that. It's really good, it's a lot of fun. And cheer, yep. Yep. And class is dismissed. Thank you, Sears and Madams, for coming. Awesome job, and I hope you have a great rest of your night. Sleepers, I will put Sienna's thing outside. Awesome job. Master Sullivan. Yes. You really taught us some things that we didn't know, like the back kick, the heel pointing in a certain way. That's awesome, ma'am. So thank you. I'm glad you're doing a great job. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank awesome, you, ma'am. Have a good night. By the way, um, yeah. when is Monster Edwards coming back? I don't know. I don't think he's ever in this class, but um, he definitely has his own classes going. I can find out for you, though. I just want to say hi to him. Okay. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, I'll let him know. Perfect. Leave. Thank Please you. Please leave now. Have a good night.